A very pleasant good morning to everyone. What a pleasure it is to be worshiping with you once again. I give God thanks for his mercy, give him thanks for his grace, for his keeping care, for watching over us while we slept and for waking us up this morning. We serve a mighty God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can think or imagine. And so it makes sense for us to commit our ways to him. It makes sense that early in the morning we seek his face. And so this morning I extend a very special welcome to those of you who have joined us here for another morning devotion. If you're joining us on the various social media platforms, whether live or later on, you will listen to this broadcast. We extend to you a warm welcome and we invite you to feel and to know that the Spirit of the Lord is in this place. And may you not leave here without having experienced the blessing that God has in store for you. For those who are joining us via radio this morning, good morning and welcome to another morning devotion. We sincerely pray that God's blessing will be outpoured upon you. And whatsoever the reason is, whether you got here by invitation or whether by you just came across this link, I want you to know that it's not by accident, it's not by choice, that it's not by luck that you're here. But God has a message in store for you. And Praise the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. First, I must greet the Spirit of God. To those who are online, on, on line, I greet you all in one name, Jesus. Praise God. This morning, as I come before you this morning, you know, I have a lot to give God thanks for. Praise God. Knowing that... um. I already come and let you know that I lost my daughter. This year make um to this month make it one year and six months since she had leave me. And knowing that I I I does not know anyone in Connecticut and she's my only blood relative, you know. It was very hard, hard for me to really stand up and to really face the challenging. But, but God, you know, I just want to encourage some soul this morning who reached to a, 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 um, a way, a, a pathway that they want to give up knowing that things does not work the way how they want it to work. But I can encourage each and every one this morning. You know, the, when the topic of the focus for this week is, uh, they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew in their strength. They shall mount up like wing, like eel. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not fail and just ask God to teach us, you know. And this morning, I can stand a test to this topic because I, I, <laughs> the Lord has set my life in a way that I, I'll know sometime I have to sit down and say to the Lord, say, God, you really, you, you're real, you really, really love me. You know, I, you really favor me, you know, because what? At the end of the day, the Lord has opened so many doors for me. He had set me in a loving family, church family, who, you know, I don't have no time to even think of the past, you know, because there's someone is there to really to embrace me up, to call me and, you know, and this morning 
you know, I said it's time for me to come out and give and let others know how wonderful and how God is not a God with slack to his promise. You know, because during my daughter's sickness, all I asked God, I said, God, cover me. Give me the strength. You know, don't make me, um, don't, because I was scared. I was scared, 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 scared to stand in a, in, in a different country to face whatever is ahead of me. But, you know, the, when you have the Holy Spirit within you, and you try to um, follow what the Lord said, you know. And one at a time I reached that stage that I get paranoid, that I just get confused and cry out to God and say, God, I can't make it. And, you know, and the Lord said, behold, I'm with you. And brethren and friends, I remember... Um, when my daughter just died, I went to Social Security. I went to DSS. And everybody, every door that I go, they, they deny me. So they say I have to wait until I'm five years in the country and stuff. Because it's 2019 that I came here. And since the 18th of January would be my five years this year. So I went, I started to reapply back over. And when I go to Social Security, when I get back and said to them, interview me at Social Security, they told me that because I'm not a citizen or a refugee, I don't really have, they, they don't have anything to offer me. So they are going to send me a denial letter. So I said, okay. I went to DSS and they, 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 they signed me up and stuff. Well, the good thing about it, the same day I signed up at DSS in February, they, they grant me the food stamp because I wasn't getting no, be no name benefit over here. It's God's grace and his mercy was keeping me throughout the year and the couple months. And uh, I when I went to DSS, um, they sent a social worker to come see where I am. Where I am staying right now is way up in the third floor, 20 how much step I have to go up. Um I sick with the rheumatoid arthritis and the and the pinch nerve in the back. Right now they need them getting from worse to bad to worse, but that's okay because I don't tell the Lord, said, God, whatsoever. Is your will, let it be done. And if it take the pain for me to reach where, to, to hold on to you, I am going. But I'm not going to let nothing stop me from serving you or worshipping you. Whether it's in or out, whether it's okay or not, I'm just made up my mind to serve you and to go a mighty long way with you. And when this is, um, I remember when after I signed up for DSS and stuff, they say they are waiting on the denial letter from Social Security. And as soon as I get it, I take care of it. So I take it in and I remember when I go, um, they say they want a bank statement. I went down by the bank and stuff and get the statement. I make sure no, no, no post it, I carry it myself. And you know, going down the bank, walk, come up back on main road. And, and take another bus and stuff, and the foot were hurting me. But I said, God, it's all about me and you. I'm asking you to take me where I have to go. And I went. And the lady said to me, said, um, um, Miss Cross, I'm, I'm, I'm just letting you know that you don't build up your hopes. I don't think they are going to grant you um, cash assistance or the, um, the insurance. But anyhow, then put a certain to and I said to her, I said, it's not all about me. It's not all about me. You know, whatever the Lord will, let it be done. If I get it, it's the same Lord. It's the same God I'm serving. And if I don't get it, it's the same God. But I know I trust God. 
and I know whatsoever he said, he, he will do it for me. And she turned to me and said, you know, I like your feet. I said, yes, because I know where the Lord has taken me from. And I know what, I, I don't know where would I be if Jesus didn't love me. And I don't know where would I be if he didn't care. You know, I just glad that he sacrificed his life for one like me. And she said, okay, Mama's holy feet. Last week, week before last Thursday, I went downstairs. And when I go downstairs, I saw a letter from Jesus. And when I, when I go downstairs and come up back, I make sure do what I'm doing and come sit down. And when I open it, I saw every everything that they told me that I was going to deny. I got, I um, they they grant me it. I got got my insurance, and I got the um, cash assistance, and I got my my food stamp. You know, Virgin and friends, I'm just showing. I have to share it with each and every one because knowing that um man said they are not going to give me because I'm a refugee, and I I'm not a refugee and I'm not a citizen. But because I am God refugees, and because I am God citizen, God grant me it, you know. And I just want to glorify the Lord. And I can encourage each and every one of you, don't give up. Just try to live a life that to please God. And each time the enemy come up, with things in your mind and you catch it, denounce it back to him. Send it right back to him and let him know that it is not of God will. You understand? And I am just giving the Lord thanks and praise. Right about now, I am trying to, look, I am looking about somewhere to live now. And, and in the name of Jesus, I have three farms pulling up and I know the same God what 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 start the business, I know the same God is gonna take me through. And I just want to let you know anyone this morning and the hearing of my voice decide that they they're tired of waiting. They're tired because not, not going their way. Just trust God. Just hold on. God does not do things on our timing. He do things on his timing. And when it's done, it, it's really, really done. Because this morning, when I, when I look and I start to come, I say, but it's one year and this month, it's six months since my daughter leave me. I am, I am 66. March gone. And Sometimes, sometimes I, 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 I don't know how to express, express the love of Jesus. You know, I have a, a, a relationship, a relationship with the Lord. Because there are times, even when I, when I, where I am, actually it's me alone up here. And I have to talk to God as a God, please. Don't let nothing happen to me up here because I have to go down all these steps to open door that anyone to come to my rescue, you know? And I know, I know God is keeping me. And I know the Lord, what I, God that I serve, you know, because I tell him, I said, God, I hid my life in your hands and whatsoever is your will, Lord. Let it be done. Not my will, but your will. And I ask him each and every day just to lead me and guide me and help me to have more faith, more trust. And this morning, I am encouraging some someone this morning, don't give up. There are times we we are looking about some stuff and we'd say, boy, 
look like it's not going on. But God, 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 when you call upon him, all when, all when you feel like the breath is leaving, because the enemy put all kind of things, all kind of things in our mind, you know, in our thoughts. And soon as we recognize it, brethren and friends, we have to denounce it and send it back to the descender. Let him know that there is no room, there is no place for him to be here. And I just trust God and hope this morning that whatever door are closed, whatever door you feel that are closed, that is not going to open. God is about to open it for you. Whatever you are waiting on, God is about to give you it and grant you it. Just have faith in God and just wait upon him. Do not look on, on things what um moving fast ahead. Just wait. Because when you wait upon the Lord, he will renew in our strength. And he will mount up the wings like eagle. You know, and this morning, that's what I want to share it to know. And I'm going to close in prayer now. Father, in your name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, this morning, God, as I come before you, Lord. Lord, nothing in my hands I bring to you, God, but simple to your cross I cling. Lord, this morning, God Almighty, as you led upon my heart to share my testimony this morning. Oh, God Almighty, to let others know that you are still alive and well. That you still the same God yesterday, today, and forever. And God, this morning, God Almighty, this morning, I'm asking you, Lord, to touch a soul this morning, God. Oh, God Almighty. Someone that are about to give up this morning, God. Lord, I pray this morning, God, that you may touch them, Lord. God Almighty, I pray, oh God, that you may fill up their faith this morning. Oh, God Almighty, let them realize and know, God, that you are still with them, God. God Almighty, this morning, God, I love you with everlasting love, Jesus. God, you're the one that keeping me alive. You're the one that saved me, God. And God, I thank you for that day, God, when you restore me back to your fold. God Almighty, this morning, thank you for this prayer line this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everything, God Almighty. Lord, remember the group that formed this prayer that you give inspiration to form this prayer line, Lord. God, touch Jesus. Lord, I'm asking you, Lord, to deliver, Lord. Lord, remember even Sister Erica, Lord. Lord God, as I, I know that she's not feeling well. God Almighty, I pray, oh God, that you may strengthen her. God, I pray, oh God Almighty, that whatsoever the sickness may be, God Almighty, this morning, Lord God, I pray, oh God, that you may rebuke it and discharge it and dispatch it, God, and send it back to the sender. God Almighty, is not your will for us to go through any sickness, but God, it's a process, God. And God, this morning, there's anyone, God Almighty, who is the hearing of my voice, who are not saved. God Almighty, I pray, oh God, that you may touch them. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that they will hand down everything at your feet and give it all to you, God. Because, God, there is no other way, God, but your way, Jesus. God Almighty, bless each and every one this morning. Touch each and every one this morning, God. Oh, God Almighty, I pray, O oh God, that you may give each and every one a financial breakthrough this morning. God Almighty, I pray this morning that you will open every door that are shut this morning, God. And God Almighty, and let your children them know, God, that you are God and you will always be God. 
and you will never change. Praise God. I just want to thank you, Jesus. I just want to glorify your name. Lord Jesus, what I feel of asking of you this morning. Oh God, I pray, oh God, that you may grant your children whatsoever there is your will, God. Open every door that are closed. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Shalom, shalom, people of God. Indeed, this morning we are so grateful to God for yet another opportunity to be gathered in this fashion. It is not a right, but indeed it is a privilege. I just want to honor the presence of the Lord with us this morning. Indeed, he is a good, good father. He is the giver of life. He is, you know, the the our alpha, our omega. In him we live, in him we move. And in him we have our being and we just want to honor him this morning for the God that he is to us this morning. We're just so grateful that we have truly experienced his love to know that while we were yet sinners, he died for us. And even in our folly, he continues to show us his mercies. So we would proceed with our parting verse. Psalm 19 and the verse 14, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Have a blessed day, people of God. And as you go forth today, take the word with you, remembering that you are light and you are salt and that you are to bring hope to those who are in darkness. That you ought not to rest until you see those that are around you come to know him as Lord and Savior, remembering that you are his ambassador and that you are to represent him well. Have a blessed day, everyone. <laughs>